We got another 1 p.m.er, and that is the Chargers heading to the Ravens for a noon kick Central Time. And that, that's that got to be rough on the Chargers to come over and do this, especially against the Ravens. Ravens are a three-point favorite at home. 51.5 is the total. Uh, again, brought to you by BetUS, where the game begins. Promo code is down in the description so make sure you get signed up with that. Chargers 8-1 and one against the spread in their last nine games. And the Ravens have so many injuries. And they have made a ton of uncharacteristic mistakes this year. And they still find ways to win ball games. The Ravens at home? I, I, will, I will take them all day minus the three against the Chargers. I, I still feel like this Chargers team is smoke and mirrors. And they've been winning against really good teams. But I, a noon game, East Coast, I just feel like this is this might be a little too much uh, for them to handle here. I'm I'm going to take the Ravens minus the three. I think that they can shorten this game. I think Lamar can handle you know whatever the Chargers defense throws at him, and I think the Ravens defense will actually be able to confuse and slow down Justin Herbert a little bit. So I agree on the game. I don't think the Chargers have been doing it with smoke and mirrors. I think Justin Herbert's great. They they got. I mean, they literally had the stripes to give them the game against the Browns. The Browns beat them, beat them handily last week, and and it, and I, I know I'm, I've got a lot of Charger friends that that are giving me crap about it, but it it just it's just truth. They 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 got multiple multiple big time calls that went their way that that caused them to win a game where they barely barely won. So you know that's that's the way I see that. At some point in time, I think all of those things are going to go away. All of the luck of getting all the calls and stuff are going to stop. They're going to run out. And, uh, and yeah, I think they happened in Baltimore. Lamar Jackson, by the way, freakiest guy I've ever seen in my life right now. Yes, that fourth quarter against the Colts was uh, beyond anything that I have ever seen. I just I, I don't know how they did it. I mean, it was 25 to 9. No, it was 25 to 6 at one point, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. it's just just yeah. absurd. He scored, he scored three. He scored three touchdowns in one quarter, and 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 it was like it was like there's nothing, nothing the Colts could do to stop. Him. Yeah, he just when he decided that he was ready to to score, he was ready to win the game. There was nothing they could do. Nothing nope. that they could do there. So it was it it kind of I'm I'm worried that I'm getting you know carried into a trap here, but. I mean, it. Baltimore's still a good team. They're still insanely well coached. This is the number eight total DVOA team against the number eleven. The Ravens are number eight. Chargers number eleven here. I, you know, Baltimore's defense, like just overall analytics, hadn't looked great. They're number twenty-two, but like we know what this defense can be, and when they needed to shut down the Colts, they did it. And I feel like they would do the same thing in this uh, spot here. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.